Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on print, Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel or follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook group, or Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're also available on Sci-Sci, which is uh, Prince Mila Entertainment TV, and the Sci-Sci podcast. We're also on Twitter, it's a P Mila ENT. Follow us on Twitter. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 10th of uh, February, uh, 2022. So guys, our daily news, breaking news, it comes to you guys each and every day, each and every hour. We keep you guys informed about latest news happening in and around Zimbabwe. As long as it affects us as Zimbos, we have to talk about it here. And, and welcome new subscribers who are listening and watching us for the first time. Welcome to Prince Minute Entertainment TV and to all our loyal, loyal our Prince Mila Entertainment TV family members. Magakosha, Pasna Mimiga, Apana Apana. And so, guys, remember to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that uh, we do upload here. And so, let's just present Emerson Nangagwa is downward title deeds for votes to an estimated 80,000. Desperate homesickers in the capital was informal settlements and structures face demolition as the ruling party goes for broke ahead of the March 26 by elections. Mrangagwa will address what an PF officials dubbed a mother of all rallies in airport on Saturday, where the title deeds will be handed out to dwellers who are at loggerheads with the local board over plans to demolish their structures. In 2020 and last year, dozens of structures and informal settlements were destroyed, leaving homeowners and informal traders counting heavy losses. In recent years, at other H2 visa, municipalities have taken a tough stance against illegal structures that have mushroomed, especially on wetlands. As the country heads towards polls and PF, which has performed dismally in urban areas since the turn of the millennium, said it was aiming to break the Wodo by handing out title deeds to win votes. ZNPF spokesperson Christopher Mchangwa said handing out title deeds would be a game changer and likened the move to the attainment of independence in 1980. I'm confidently told that by now, probably 80,000 houses have been mapped and given addresses. The president will be there to give each one an address and identity, Mchangwa told journalists at the press conference at the party headquarters. The signature act of the airport visit would be to grant title deeds to the existing stock of urban houses, which are the people have and have never used and are dead capital. We have decided as a party that we shall be giving title deeds to urban people. This is something which is big. It is a, as big as the land reform. It is as big as independence. It is a signal to urban people that since you are living in an urban setting, you need to have a history of credit. Opposition Nelson Chamisa Citizens Coalition for Change, CCC, as an of the country's main political parties will use the polls as a yardstick for the 2023 elections. Credit is what drives a modern economy. Up to now, urban people have no title deeds. They cannot go to the bank to borrow money so that is dead capital but they work very hard mchangwa said while admitting that the party failed to implement its ambitious plan in the 2018 election manifesto where it undertook to construct 1.5 million housing units translating to 300,000 houses per year 25,000 a month and 6,250 a week and 822 houses a day the assumption was that the government was going to provide the funds but people overlooking the existing stock of houses which have already been built which are not providing a mortgage for expansion. ZPF accused the opposition of running down local authorities but CCC Deputy National Spokesperson Gift Ostalos Lisa said, said we are a new political organization, we are not in parliament, our first participating in forming a local government will be on March 26. Anything else, we are not in government, we are not in the cabinet, we are a new political organization formed weeks ago. Our entry into the political landscape of this country will be in this upcoming by-elections. And so guys, that's the latest year. ED will be dangling much title deeds to almost like 80,000 and uh, yes, desperate home seekers in Harare. So which means that the corporations which were facing demolition are uh, legalized and uh, it's one of those moves that uh, ZNPF always does 
when it comes to yeah, the, my elections and uh, let's all put my title deeds uh, as a council after some time and uh, so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding this uh, rally it comes the mother of all rallies which will take place in April on uh, Saturday yes here on daily news breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV my title deeds almost like 80,000 people so which means that uh, Zanpiv is planning to take back all the other uh, seats and it are available for my by elections article on March 26, 2022. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms. And this is a daily news, a breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We keep you in the loop for any new information. And it my by elections. And so, daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment, and follow. Please, sir.